Okay, guys, we're going to be looking at forms now in Microsoft Access, moving on from tables. So let me explain what a form is. At the moment, what we're looking at here is my school database, and I've got the alumni table open. And you can see all the fields are at the top there, as before. And I have 105 alumnus. Alumnus, alumni, I don't actually know what it is, but alum, alum people. I have 105 people in this database. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, instead of letting somebody have to deal with this table and, you know, scroll down and go here and then go from one little cell to the next and, you know, where errors could happen or maybe things could go missing or not filled in, I'm going to create a form which allows me to let a user enter data into the table in a much better way. All right, much, much better, much more better. And uh, let me show you how we do that. So instead of doing it here, instead of doing it here, okay, I'm going to use a form because that's what a form is for. A form is to allow a user to enter data into a table. So I'm going to close this here and I'm going to go to create because I'm going to create a form. And you can see here, here's my forms group. All right. And I've got form. I've got form design, blank form. But you know what? I'm going to use the form wizard because that'll just take me through the steps that I need to go through one step at a time. So I prefer that actually. Click on form wizard. Awesome. So as you can see, because I'm already or I was in the table alumni, it's already selected. If I had other tables or queries, I could select them here. But I'm going to use alumni as my table. Here are all the fields that are available in the alumni table. OK, and so I want to enter in certain uh, bits of information. ID, I don't need to capture because that's going to be automatic. So I don't need to worry about that. So surname, I'm going to add that one. Name, I'm going to add, you know, and what I'll do is I'll just put all of these here like that. Except ID. So there you can see I've added all the fields that are available from the table. I've put them into my form so that I can enter in the data one field at a time. And here I go. Right. What layout would you like for your form? Columns, tabs, data sheet, justified. You know what? I normally just go with whatever Access tells me, like the first one. I've tried the others and they just get confusing. So it says columns. I'm going to go with columns. Next. What title do you want for your form? Uh, alumni, you know what, I'm going to call that Alumni Data Capture. There we go. Right, that is all I need. Do I want to open the form or do I want to modify? Well, let's just open the form and see what it looks like. So click on Finish. And there we go. Here we have a form. Let me just move some things out the way here. You guys can get a better view. There is my alumni data capture form. And as you can see, I have all of my fields here and I have a text box or what you know, well, if, if, ah, I just clicked on this. <laughs> Check. It works. See? It works, I told you. The hyperlink, here you go. You saw it in action. You saw it here first, folks. And what else? There's gender, landline. You can see the, the input mask is kicking in there. Nice, with the brackets, yeah. And the spacing, awesome. And there you go. So that is how we create a basic form using the form wizard. At the bottom here, I can see the number of records. If I wanted to add now a new record, to my table. Watch this. Just go down to the bottom and there you see it's got a little star. Okay. I'm going to just click on new blank record. Click and now I can go ahead and add in the information for a new person and that will automatically go into my table.